homelessness is on the rise and it's heartbreaking in a country like ours. Surely everyone deserves a roof over their head and shouldn't have to sleep out in the cold, but for far too many, that's just not the case. Anyone who's visited a town or city center can see for themselves that rough sleeping has reached crisis levels. It's all too easy to think that this could never happen to one of our loved ones, but sometimes all it takes is for two or three things to go wrong at once. And that safety net that we once had has been disappearing under this government. The number of rough sleepers is rising year on year. And between 2014 and 2016, 3,000 people were brought before the courts in violation of something called the Vagrancy Act. This is a law from around 200 years ago that basically makes it a criminal offence to spend a night on the street. We should be giving homeless people a helping hand, not dragging them before the court. We must demand better. I'm here to meet Paul, who works at a homelessness charity, to get his take. And what's the personal impact on the individuals affected by the vagrancy act? Former sleepers can be arrested and fined, sometimes put in prison, but certainly met with financial penalties, which they usually can't pay. They can be asked to move on, and that's effectively uh, brushing the problem under the carpet, and they're just going to become somebody's problem another day. And what more could the government do? We need to not only look at building more affordable homes, we also need a lot more support for uh, preventing homelessness happening in the first place. Uh, lots of the young people we support at Centrepoint uh, leave home because of a breakdown in, with their family. Now, if we were looking at the root cause of that, including a lot of people who have been unemployed perhaps for a long time, then we'd get much closer to solving the problem. caring and compassionate approach to tackling this national scandal and repeating the vagrancy act is a really easy first step the act is already repealed in scotland and northern ireland and it's time that england followed too but a year ago when i introduced my bill to repeal the vagrancy act conservative mps blocked it the vagrancy act is a mean-spirited and cold-hearted law and it needs to go. Liberal Democrats believe we should be caring and understanding to those who need our help. It's time for the government to get behind my campaign. Let's scrap the Vagrancy Act.